I'm used to your chair. It's very tricky. <laughs> That's right. The last time we were here, I thought I would try the other chair. Thank you again for doing that. While my son was being operated on, yes. you filled in as guest host for me, and I very much appreciate it. My pleasure. That. My pleasure. Thank you. And you did a fantastic job. Well, you know, uh, it was a... It was a, it was a, my pleasure. I would have preferred to have done his operation, but um, <laughs> uh, you know, hosting the show was just we, as difficult. I'm glad we worked it out the way we did. <laughs> yeah, me too, for a sec. When you're here, like, you're from the Seattle area. Yeah. When it rains like this. Does Woo it... <laughs> it's one guy. Does it make you feel like you're at home? Do you feel like more comfortable in this? <laughs> you know, the rain down here is a little different than the rain in Seattle. It I is. Like. Yeah, I've lived in Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. Because here it rains. Yes. It's like the Serengeti, you know, like you have like four inches of water on the freeway. In Seattle, it will rain for like nine months. <laughs> but it's never, there's actually not a setting low enough on your windshield wipers <laughs> to not squeak. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> like, yeah, you're it's in a cloud. Almost a mist. In it's a, a mist. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's right. It's like the rain in Seattle and the rain in LA is like the difference between peeing when you're 19 and <laughs> peeing when you're 80. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. And you yeah. have that. You have. A, I know you have a big farm. How many acres is your farm up, up in? The, well, it's up north of Seattle. Man, it's about like 200,000 acres. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's about 100 acres. <laughs> it's 100 acres. Yeah. That's still a lot. Yeah, it's going to be 200,000 <laughs> one day. Um, <laughs> I think yeah, that would be all of Washington State, right? Yeah, I, mean, I think so. <laughs> soon. And yeah. how many animals do you have on, on your 200,000 acres? <laughs> you know, counting, only counting the animals that I put there. Right. Because there are uh, birds, birds and, yeah. bugs. Right, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> we have... Uh, like 150, maybe? 150, okay. And what are they mostly? 150,000? Mostly what? <laughs> Dogs, or yeah. what are we talking about here? <laughs> no, we've got, we've got like about, we're in the middle of lambing season right now, so we, oh. we're growing our numbers by like one or two a day. We're gonna have, we'll have, we'll have uh, dropped about 60 lambs in uh, about a three week period. Um, wow. So far, about, we're about halfway done. You so. mean that's how many lambs are born? Yeah, yeah. And then lambs grow up to become sheep. Right, yeah, lamb is a baby sheep, yeah. and then okay. male sheep are called a ram, and oh. a female sheep is called a ewe. None of them are called sheep. They're all, yeah. You can, any of them can be called sheep. Because a female goose is a goose, and then a male goose is a gander, but at least one of them's called a goose. And then a baby goose is, is a, gosling. a gosling. Yeah. Who, as we know, was nominated for an Academy Award. Yeah. Yeah. But, is that true? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whatever. Well, I don't know. I'm yeah. sure he was. If not, he deserved it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So He's... you're a shepherd then, in a way. <laughs> in Do you have one of those big shepherds? In more than one way, sir. You need a... uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, I mean, look, I. I... <laughs> like on your tax return, you could write shepherd. Just shepherd? Yeah. Like that's your job. <laughs> Just come out in my, with my cane, yeah. my, my hook. You have you to know, have one of those. It's, it's, an awesome, it's an awesome outlet for me. Obviously, I'm very lucky to be able to be like, sort of a glamour farmer. I've got literal shepherds uh, at the farm. Who work there, yeah. Yeah, and what I mean by literal shepherds is their last name is Shepherd. No. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Phil and really? Angie Shepherd, yeah. What? That's crazy. I know, it's amazing. That's it, like Tim Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's really yeah. remarkable. Yeah, that's right, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Um, and they're just incredible. They have this, they have an amazing family and uh, their daughter, Elizabeth, I don't know. Well, they actually don't even have a TV, so they're probably not watching. They'll be oh. like, I'll be like, I was on Kimmel. They're like, what? Who's this? <laughs> no offense. And now, they're amazing people. <laughs> but um, uh, they, you know, they're just really like, a, we're a godsend. And, and when I came into, it's, it's a long story, but when I came into this property and was considering buying it, Phil was the guy who showed me around. Uh -huh. And it just, everything would lined up and, and he had a, a herd of sheep on this property that he was just leasing it so that the people who owned it previously could keep their like agricultural zoning, um, and per, you know, tax uh, uh, incentive. And so right. they had like they have to run some animals on it. And he just was like leasing this land, and I just it all came together, and I just felt like they were supposed to turn this farm into a beautiful big working farm. And what don't we know about sheep 
that we sh maybe should, or I guess we'll really never have a situation, because I think of them as, I think of counting sheep when you go to sleep, and I think of yeah. them as fluffy and delightful animals that can fly. No, a sheep will f you up. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. A, a ram will mess you up. Well, yeah, sure, they were in the Super Bowl. I know that. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, they, like, for real, for instance, the verb to ram, it, oh, yeah. it came from a ram. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, that's They'll a great point. They'll ram you. So they will go, are, are human, they will? Hell yeah. Do they know you own the place and you could evict them if you wanted to? <laughs> they, they're real cuddly now. We got three rams. We've got bourbon, uh, Prince Rupert, and one <laughs> called Rex Danger Fleece. Oh. And, um, <laughs> and uh, they're really sweet and really cuddly, but, you know, if you turn your back on them, they'll straight up like ram you. They'll, oh, really? they'll take your knees out for sure. Wow! Have yeah. they done it to you? Yeah, they messed me up. Really? Yeah, I had to wrestle them. I had to show <laughs> them what's up. I had to show dominance. <laughs> if you show dominance, do all the other sheep learn it, or does only yeah, they that learn sheep? It. Oh, they do. Yeah. yeah, you show dominance and you look around. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> it's a roadhouse. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. All right. I think we've covered sheep well enough. We come back. We're gonna see a clip from uh, your new movie. It's a western. Chris Pratt is in the kid. Yeah. We'll be right back with a clip from the kid. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.